Each time you experience some distress or suffering. So, first to notice, notice each time what is your experience. To notice simply means being aware of whatever arises. Usually, the stories that we experience in the mind have this capacity to mm, take us away. And then, of course, we enter an imaginary world. No wonder we experience distress in whatever form. So notice that you got caught up in a story and secondly, that in this story, you became a character. The protagonist of the story that needs to be defended, that is always looking for happiness, new way to find itself satisfied, more satisfied. So, be aware of this inner dialogue, this chit-chat that we have apparently with ourselves. It's nothing other than a chain of thoughts, one thought replying to another. Whereas we are the ones that experience or know this chain of thoughts. But of course, due to the power of habit, we got used to mistake ourselves for that I that appears as a form of thought. And that's really the imposter. That is the thief that takes away, so to speak, our peace and happiness. But once we see it for what it is, we are not identified with it anymore. We catch the thief. And then it no longer takes away our inherent peace and happiness. to me this words you use the thief comes and takes away our happiness and we actually have also the thief alarm which is the suffering exactly like very same way as the Pain is the alarm that uh, something physical in your body is in danger. Then in the same way, the suffering is the alarm that you are caught up into this story. Yes, exactly. That's very, very good tip. <laughs> Yes, we more and more can get familiar with noticing this or hearing these, this alarm, which is our own suffering. Because we don't need to do something in order to be happy or peaceful. We actually need to stop the doing, so to speak. So in the story, we can never be happy. Because the story itself, it's the search for happiness. But when we let go of the story, when we just simply see it, it doesn't stand anymore. It can't stand. And when it drops, 
our peace and happiness can radiate is already there always no matter how awful our circumstances are but it because it's our default way of being or our status quo we don't see it it we we are looking for it only when we don't have it when we are looking for it we're doing the wrong thing because we go further away from it so it's this background peace that we are yearning for and that peace is awareness itself my experience right now doesn't say my name is Julia I come from this and this family and I have this and this parents and um, I have this and this studies and this and this profession it doesn't say anything like that my experience is to be here and now to be aware so our true self or it sounds very majestic our true self or monumental how ourselves is hearing these words right now that's the only self there is it's being here and now and it's being aware all the rest is imaginary it's in the story and it's in the story that I am Julia and I come from this and this family and I have a profession and blah 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 yes of course all these things are true about me but when I take myself to be that then I am bound by the story or by the things about me So I lose my freedom or I give away my freedom in favor of the story. And when I'm in the story, I am playing as a character in it. So what we can do is notice, notice, notice. And the more we notice, the less we are caught up in the story and the more we notice the more we realize that we are not the one in the story 